Hello, I'm Dr. Marla Shapiro, and today we're going to be talking about a new class of medication called CIRMS, what they are, what does this mean to you as a woman? And joining me today is Dr. Joanne Pinkerton. Welcome, Joanne. Welcome. Joanne is the Executive Director of the North American Menopause Society. She's also the Director at the Midlife Health Division and Center at the University of Virginia Health Center in Charlottesville, Virginia. So firstly, what does CIRM stand for? CIRMs are known as designer estrogens, meaning that they work as an estrogen in some tissues and they work against estrogen in other tissue. So for example, it might help bone, so it works as an estrogen, and it might prevent breast cancer, so it works against estrogen. So for a woman listening to this, you know, often they associate estrogen and breast cancer together. So this is a designer estrogen, yet it is doing the opposite. Why is that? because we have estrogen receptors throughout our body and so an estrogen stimulates all the receptors and that's good, it helps hot flushes and bones and vagina, but it also can increase the risk for breast cancer or cause bleeding or uterine cancer. So a CIRM is trying to give you the benefits of the estrogen um, without the risks. So the best of both worlds. That's the idea. Okay, so there are CIRMs that stand all by themselves mm -hmm. as a medication and then there are some that are put along with estrogen. So who would be a candidate for what? So Riloxifen or Avista is a CIRM that stands by itself. So just a CIRM alone. CIRM alone, it helps your bones, it prevents breast cancer, but it increases hot flashes. So it wouldn't be ideal if you were having hot flashes at menopause. There is a new product, which is a serum called basidoxifene, and it's combined with a specific estrogen, a conjugated estrogen, and you get the benefit of both. So the estrogen would deal with the hot flashes, mm -hmm. and then the basidoxifene would deal with? It protects the breast and the uterus. And not all serums are the same. This particular serum is very um, antagonistic. It works against the estrogen in the uterus, so we don't need a progesterone. Most women who have a uterus who take hormones take an estrogen and a progesterone or a progestogen, and that can increase breast tenderness, bleeding, and potentially breast cancer risk. This new pairing of estrogen with a serum helps your hot flashes. It um, does not increase breast tenderness or breast density, and bleeding is similar to placebo, so you get a relief of hot flushes, your bones get better, your vagina gets better, but you don't have breast tenderness or bleeding and it's neutral on the breast. So it's a brand new pairing. So when we talk about CIRM, that stands for Selective Estrogen Receptor Modulator. It has estrogen-like activities, not estrogen-like activities, but it's not an estrogen. It's not an estrogen, correct. And that's important for, <laughs> for women, women to, to hear yeah. because it's, it's very confusing. Well, and when you go into your doctor and you're saying that you're having hot flashes, you immediately think, oh, we should think about hormone therapy. But if you've had bleeding issues or your breasts are dense or you have breast tenderness, you might say, what about that new product, that estrogen and that serum? Might it be ideal for me? And who should not be using it? So somebody who has a risk for blood clots because oral therapy increases risk of blood clots. Um, that's primarily the group that shouldn't take it. It's been tested in women at different ages and at different weights, so we know that it's effective for them. It hasn't been tested in women with breast cancer or uterine cancer, so they would not be ideal candidates. Now, there's another serum on the market that is marketed just for vaginal dryness, so-called vaginal atrophy. What is this serum, and how is it different, and, and, and who walks that direction? So this is an entirely different standalone CIRM. So just only a CIRM. Only a CIRM. And it has the unique effect that it helps vaginal dryness. And it is actually approved to treat vaginal pain with intercourse. But it's oral. It's an oral it's medication. It's an oral medicine. It's not a topical. It's not, no. So if you present, if you say, I'm having pain with sex, the first thing your doctor is going to think about is vaginal estrogen cream tablet ring. But if you can't take them for some reason, or if you want to take something that's oral, that only works in your vagina, then this new product, Ospemifen or Osfina, would be perfect for you. And it might help your bones, and it might be neutral on your breast, but it hasn't really been studied. Right. So we really only give it for women who have painful intercourse, 
who want to take this oral product. And it does have some risks because it's oral, it would have a blood clot risk. Um, and it may be slightly estrogenic at the uterus. So you have, if you had vaginal bleeding, you would want to let your doctor know or your provider know. Okay, so what we're walking away from is that the CIRM mm -hmm. is an estrogen receptor modulator. It can be all by itself, some for bone alone, mm -hmm. this newer one for vagina alone. And then sometimes it's complex with estrogen to protect the lining, but also deal with hot flashes. Exactly. So, so when you go in, your provider hopefully will sit down and say, what are your problems? If you have just bone loss and maybe a risk for breast cancer, you would be a candidate for raloxifen or Sola Zavista. If you come in and you have vaginal dryness and that's all you have and you're not a candidate for vaginal estrogen for some reason, they might offer you Aspamifen or Asfina. But if you present with hot flashes and want to protect your bones, then you would be a candidate for this novel therapy. It's conjugated estrogen with basidoxyphene sold as Duave, and it would relieve your hot flashes almost as well as traditional estrogen while um, preventing uterine cancer and being neutral on the breast. No breast tenderness, no bleeding issues. So a great new product. Exciting new news for women. Mm -hmm. Women are really lucky because there are so many options now. Best place to get the information? <laughs> North American Menopause Society. And I'm North American Menopause Society Credential Practitioner. <laughs> exactly. Yes, and you can go on the website and actually find the credential practitioners in your area. Thank you, Joanne.